color on your paper first, you're allowed to use a brush for that. It's just too hard to do it with other things. Now, one word about these tools. They're um, really, really fun to use. And it's very easy to move the paint around. The danger is that you, you might move paint around too much so that everything overlaps everything else and becomes quite chaotic. You know what I'm saying? 700 shapes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it's really easy to slide the paint around. And you, so you have to be very aware of that. that you, you control that. It definitely can be a problem. <laughs> That is the transparent red iron oxide. So 
let me just ask a question about the texture of your paint. Is yeah. that um, um, those are those are harder lumps? Like when we mix up our, our new paint that we're opening, it's all soft and we mix it up. But you've got hard lumps in there, kind of. That's because they've been in there for ten years. <laughs> So were those some bits that maybe hardened within no. it or no? It just gets bumpy. Yeah. yeah. So we gotta wait ten years to get that effect. <laughs> <laughs> Could you add some coarse sand to them? I never add anything to my paint. I'm worried about permanency. Yeah. Okay. I never add anything. Only paint. Mm -hmm. It may be fine. Maybe so, but I don't know. <laughs> Are you using a light touch then or very a, light. Very light. Mm -hmm. Barely touching. Mm -hmm. I'm following the same shapes so you're not making it to others. No. Mm -hmm. A light touch is really important, otherwise you dig up too much stuff. You know, from underneath. I, I, there's something about this pumice that really attracts me. Is it the pumice you're using with your fingertip pieces yes. now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Change. 
see why I like this paper. I'm doing, I'm trying to tie it all together. It's kind of neat to work everywhere at once. Mm -hmm. Instead of just concentrating on one little part. So before you put your paint down and before you mm -hmm. Did anything other than maybe the background? Did you plan what your design was going to be? Never, never, never. Not even with my figures. I just throw the, I pour the figures on one, then I pour another. No plan. <laughs> I plan too much and get bored before I start. <laughs> 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 Really simplifying the shapes now. If anybody wants to see the figure work, I have some on my iPad. Please come yes. over if you want to take a break. And
I mean, you might be able to scrape the bit off, but yeah, okay, but not yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Because the pumice is so textured, yeah. When you're mounting that on a board, how would you do that? No problem. No. Gel medium is, is the strongest glue, mm -hmm. soft gel medium. Um, it will hold this thick. Oh, how, how do you put pressure on it, or do you need, don't to, need it? You don't need it, okay. <laughs> because that's so flat. Oh, really? Because of that. No pressure. You, you have just have roll it like that. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. You just put it on the board itself. So unlike watercolor paper that would rip. No. Oh, no, it never yeah. ripples. The board and the board. And the bolts. One so you the bolt surfaces and then the surfaces. Yeah. 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 And this pumice wouldn't crack. Never. Yeah, I, I, I don't contaminate my paints at all when I work with <laughs> 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 I 